I'm going to show you how to get Pieta's sword in Lords of the Fallen. So this is from her remembrance. You'll have to do a few different things in order to be able to get this. Obviously, you have to beat her, but there's some more stuff you have to do before you can actually get the sword. So defeating Pieta is not enough to get her sword. You'll have to progress your game a little bit further than that. The next area will eventually take you to this area. The game is linear, so you will pass through here in order to continue. So if this looks familiar to you, then you've made it far enough to get her sword. So there'll be this vestige here. It's called the Vestige of Blind Agatha. When you go to warp to it, it'll be called the Bell Room. So from this vestige, you're going to take the left right. You're going to go left at this little crossroads here. And you're going to head down here. There's a prerequisite we need to do before it'll let us get her sword. So you're going to go up here. There'll be a fork in the road. And you're going to turn right at that fork. Then up here is a little parkour puzzle that also has a minor trap in it. So right when you jump down, that person's casting. So you want to wait for that or else you'll either, well, you're going to get hit. But you also get thrown off the ledge if you do it the wrong timing. Then you're going to head down here and there's going to be the head smasher guy. And you're going to just ignore him or fight him. You can kill all the enemies if you want. Or in my case, I'm just going to run past them. So then you're going to go down this ladder. And now, if you're not in the Umbral Realm, you're going to want to go into the Umbral Realm. Because there's a ledge down here that only exists in the Umbral Realm. Now, I've already gotten the thing that we're going to need down here. But I can show you where it is. So there will be this statue here. And you're going to do that yanking thing on it like that. Which I've already done, so it won't let me do it. Now, there are a lot of enemies around right here. So there's a chance that when you go to do it, it'll keep targeting random enemies. So if that keeps happening, you'll just have to eventually kill all the enemies here before it'll let you do it. But do that. Yank on it. It'll pull out an item that's like a bowl of something. I can't remember what it was called. And that item is what you need before you can get Pieta's sword. And once you have that, then you're good to go. Now we can just go ahead and get out of here. So once you've done that, you're going to work back to Sky Rest. So from here, here's where you come in. You're going to go to the left over here. And then left again, there'll be the staircase right here. You're going to go up here and there'll be an empty room. Now go here and then pull out the lamp and then change over to the Umbral Realm. And there'll be this vendor right here. And you talk to him and I've already done it, but he'll want you to give him the bowl. And you give him the bowl and that'll unlock the system for getting or for getting things from the remembrances from bosses. So if you beat the boss, there's there it is. Uh, Pieta, she of Blessed Renewal. And you can go into her section and you can buy something. I already bought a spell. She also had a spell. But there is her sword and it's going to cost... Umbral Scourings, which it takes a lot of them. It takes 40 of them. So the easiest way to get them, I'm just gonna, I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to explain because it's a pretty simple thing. You, uh, when you're in these uh, in the Umbral Realm at the top right, see it says times 1.00 next to my uh, Vigor. And the longer you're in while in Hostile, it won't do anything in Skyrest. So I'd have to leave and go, go to an area where there's normal enemies. And once you're in a place like that, it'll slowly, you'll know because it'll be the eyeball up there. And as long as the eyeball's up, it's going to be building up your like threat. And then it'll eventually get to a 3x, and that's when, like, Grim Reaper-looking guy will spawn. And that guy, you just need to hit him four or five times in rapid succession, and he'll die. And he drops five Umbral Scourings each time. He's a respawn of, like, four minutes or three minutes or something like that. So you just wait around for him and then kill him again and again and again and again. That's probably your easiest way to get it. You can also find him while just playing the game in the world, you know, chests and random places, potentially. I don't remember. I've seen him here and there. So that's your choices, but either way, that's everything there is to know. So if you wanted Pieta's sword, I don't know if I'm going to say your name right, but you wanted that boss's sword, that's all the steps you got to do. That's what you got to do. Hopefully this helped you out. Now you know how to get her sword in Lords of the Fallen.